All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to uh, use the batch tool in uh, long form so you can create multiple documents from a CSV file. So first I'm gonna create a new template. Uh, so let's call this holiday blog post template, a template for holiday blog post. And we'll hit save. And I'm gonna take the blog post template, I'm gonna tweak it just a bit. Uh, I won't need an outline, so I'll take that out, but I'll keep everything else. Uh, so instead of hitting variables, what I'm gonna do is gonna go here to upload. <coughs> I'm gonna upload this CSV file. So what does this CSV file have? It has five rows. The first row is the heading. So doc name, doc about, outline item one, outline item two, outline item three, topic and holiday, which holiday is not gonna be used, but uh, <clears throat> you can also download an example CSV here. So I were, if I were to open this in Google Docs, let's see here, Google Docs, you will see that, uh, sorry, Google Sheets. Um, you'll see that it just has the heading. So let's see here, open, let's see here. So, right, so yeah, again, we have doc name, doc about, outline item one, outline item two, outline item three, and topic. Uh, these are just the variables that are found in the template. Um, so if I added more variables, those variables would appear in this sheet. Um, but I've already gone ahead and made the document. So what I'm gonna do is download it as a CSV. And then I'm going to add it to the document by uploading the CSV file here. Uh, it's going to analyze it and it's gonna say it needs 20 generations and there's a total of four rows um, for four holidays. So this is just gonna create four blog posts about holidays. Um, so if we hit create four documents now, it's gonna start processing it and we can see the status here in the doc queue. Um, so we're waiting, now it's waiting for those to be generated uh, takes a couple seconds for each. Oh, it looks like they're already ready already. Okay, wow, that's pretty impressive. So, uh, so there's our New Year's little blurb right there. And let's see Thanksgiving. There's our Thanksgiving post. Christmas. There's our Christmas post and I think I did Thanksgiving twice. Yeah, <laughs> I did Thanksgiving twice. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's a quick demo of the, the uh, <coughs> batch feature on niches. Um, you can make these CSVs a lot longer. You can add as many uh, variables as you want. You can also make the templates longer. So my template was just really basic uh, and I probably should space these out in the future. But uh, yeah, so let me know how it works for you. Let me know if you have any recommendations. Also, the other thing to keep in mind is it uses up generations. So it's great, those four documents that required 20 generations uh, in total. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, reply to the email if you saw this via email and or you can always talk in the group in the Facebook group if you have any questions concerns but this is just the start of automation in niches it's gonna get a lot better um, I, I envision uh, in the future the ability to take what's generated in niches and in one click send it to WordPress or send it to wherever you want to send it to because uh, people don't only use niches for a blog post uh, people use it to write ebooks, courses. So, uh, in, in the future, I do envision a lot more integrations. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. See ya.